I am at Lonesomeville Pottery with Wayne, and Wayne, I love coming to your store. I love you here. <laughs> it works. It is great, and it's like I love that you pick things from nature because I'm a gardener. You know, that's my you trade. Are. I'm not really a TV person, no, but um, but gardening, and I get to see my garden in artwork. Yes, but it's also usable too. It is. So you have a new line. We and, do. And I think that's really cool that you actually go shopping too and you go discover new things Correct. to get more inspiration. Correct. And so you actually found this little urn, this little vase. Yes, last year we were in Seattle on a, well, it was a binger, but we like to call it an office party. <laughs> and we saw this vase and we were inspired by a lot of the Art Deco designs mm -hmm. of the buildings in um, Seattle. So Danny saw this and it went into his little mind and the music went round and round and <laughs> he designed this and then he began to re think of the buildings in Seattle. Mm -hmm. So then he designed this and then he designed this and this is kind of, this is sort of a, an example of how we'll take an image that we right. see from our garden or the world in general when we actually go out in the world in general, which isn't that often, but <laughs> that's, that's another, another story. story. Um, and create pottery for it. Right. So you really have something for all your customers because do. you do have something. I mean, I could see that that's um, maybe a grape leaf or an oak leaf. I mean, it's something in nature I can see. A maple. Well, I don't know. I can see other things uh, in it. That's fine. <laughs> But anyway, but then you can also bring it to a different degree, making it more highly stylized, a little bit more abstract. Correct. And that appeals to a whole different customer. You said it so well. I know. That's I've why been you're trying. a professional. I guess I so. Know. But what I'm not a professional about is different glazes and different, you know, the firing of the pottery. And you guys really explore a lot of that. Okay, that was a spectacular segue. I just <laughs> want to say that. You did that really well. And yeah, we do. Um, for instance, with these, we, um, we were inspired by a heron. That was confused and landed on our arbor in the back, <laughs> and it was delicious. Kidding. <laughs> um, and from that, this is actually our designer, Todd. He took the image, and he, he designed it on his computer, and we use oh. iron oxides to burn it into our hard fire pottery. Wow. And so I would love that as a serving piece, but if I get it dirty, I probably just have to put it in the sink and hand wash it. Um, these are high fire, so you can do anything with them. They can go in the oven wow. or the dishwasher or anywhere you want. So, wow. Well, that's really unique. Well, not anywhere. Space would be crazy because that's right, you, you right. can't actually get to space. But I think more um, to your... Um, specialties is I see things like this. If I, I see that in a, sh a shop and I say that's Lonesomeville Pottery. Correct. We definitely have our specific style. We've been very lucky that way. I think both Todd, our designer Todd, and our designer um, Danny have very specific styles that are very recognizable and it's worked really well for us. We're in like the Renwick Gallery of the Smithsonian. We're in the oh. Gamble House in Pasadena, and we're local. We've been we've been very lucky. So Wayne, actually, this local company. I mean, you're right here in Portland. Correct. You actually make everything right here on your property. No, we import it from China. <laughs> that's, that's not true. That we don't. We really don't. No, we actually do make everything here. And the interesting thing is that although everything's molded, it's actually high fire pottery. Uh huh. Um, I think, to my knowledge, we're one of the few companies that actually makes molded high fire pottery because as a piece gets hotter in a, in a kiln, that tends to warp so that molds have to be perfect if mm. it's high fire pottery. So Danny or Todd make an original, we make a mold of it, we offer it for a limited amount of time. Um, once the mold is made, we pour the piece, we add oxide under glazes to add interest to the piece, mm. and then we add a high fire glaze layers and layers of high fire glaze. It's actually very time consuming, but mm -hmm. we're not smart enough to do it any other way. So, well, there you go, we're stuck, yeah. Yeah, but the pieces are just high quality. They and are. just they're beautiful. I mean, they there's, you see all that in those pieces. Yes, we're very lucky and thank you so much. That's so nice of you to say. Well, and it makes it durable and it's like, it's, um, it's a good quality piece that will last Correct. a long time Correct. in your family and in, in your forever. use. Forever, it's an heirloom. It is, it's No, it will true. last forever, they truly will last forever. You could, you could beat someone over the head with them, not that you'd want to, because you don't seem angry. <laughs> no, But if no, you no. did, you could really use one as a weapon if you need to. But I could see that this beautiful property here, yes. and you have a beautiful home, and you have inspiration. You go out into the garden. Yes, all the time. And you, know, and you bring that back to the art pieces. Absolutely. I think that most of our inspiration comes from the gardens, whether it's the dogwoods mm -hmm. or the maples or anything like that. Right. It, it definitely tends to come from the garden, unless we're on a 
office party. Right. In which case, you never know. And you are so nice that two times a year you do open up your I home do. and studio and this beautiful showroom to the public. Mm -hmm. We're having a big sale on June 1st. Cirque du Soleil will be performing. Oh, how nice. I know. I think you're really lucky. Not really. <laughs> but you really, poor thing. Well, I was going to come. I dress like a clown and I can almost touch my toes. <laughs> And that's kind of like Cirque du Soleil, so it is. But it's actually today, all day. Yes, it's today. I don't know where everybody is, but we've kept the hordes back for a while, but it's today, June 1st. And people can come here and they can walk through the garden mm -hmm. and really, and walk through the studio that's open too to see. Yes, we open the gates and, you know, just come and enjoy yourself. It's an, it's an acre of gardens. It's in full bloom. There are hundreds of roses. It'll, do, it'll look, the weather's, Beautiful today. Well, we'll see what we get, and you know, it's, it's always changing. Portland. We won't see what we get. It is June. I know 1st. it is June first. So we're we never seeing know. It. Right, exactly. No, we do know it's June first today. It is. But what's so nice is you can come and see all the lovely pieces and meet everyone. You can meet Todd and Danny, yourself, Wayne, and really see all the artists and pick up some beautiful pieces for your own home to be heirlooms. I'm upstairs drinking, so <laughs> I don't. You might meet somebody, but it won't be me. I'll be here. Well, thank you so much for inviting us in and have a great day. You too.